To you alone who do our grace wonder, we thank you for your mercy that endureth forever. Lord, we thank you. There is none like unto you. We thank you for the privilege to appear before you once again this morning. We celebrate your faithfulness. Let's magnify him. Let's give him praise. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all time, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let's celebrate the faithfulness of the Lord this morning. Let's thank him for his loving kindness. Let's thank him for his faithfulness at night. There is no like unto him. Let's magnify him this morning for this privilege to appear before him in Zion. They go from strength to strength. Everyone that appeared before God in Zion. Let's thank him for the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Let's give him the praise. He's the King of kings, the God of all gods, the Lord of lords. Let's magnify him. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. There is nothing good that we do from them that walk uprightly. Lord, we thank you for what you have packaged for us this morning. Father, we thank you for the renewal of strength. Lord, we thank you upon this mountain. You are going to change our strength in your presence. Magnify him this morning. Exalt him for this privilege. Begin to ask for grace right now, even on the altar of prayer. Let's ask for the fresh grace of the spirit of grace and supplication upon us even to pray through on the altar of prayer this morning. Begin to make your expectation known to the Lord. He has not called us to seek him in vain. For the Bible says for the Lord God is a son and a shield. There is nothing good that we took from them that walk uprightly. We have come before his majesty this, this morning. He daily loads us with benefit. Make your expectation known to the Lord. Upon this mountain my strength is renewed on the altar of prayer for the remaining days of this year. I receive fresh strength on the altar of prayer, even to break through, even to receive from the Lord. Speak to the Lord this morning. Lord, I'm not returning the same way I enter into your sanctuary. I shall be transformed on the altar of prayer. I shall be empowered on the altar of prayer. Speak to the Lord. Let's magnify him because he has had us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's welcome the priest. Hallelujah. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, of days Lord, you are so as old gracious. As, you are. as old as you are, as you, you are ageless are. and you will never change. You will Yeah. 
Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. I found a new way of living. I found a new life divine. I've got the fruit of the Spirit. I'm abiding, abiding in the vine. I found a new way. I found a new way of living. I found a new life divine. I found a new life divine. I've got the fruit. You're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your holy word. Jesus, you are. We have many signs and wonders wrought as a result of that. I said, Believers were added to the Lord, multitude, both of men and women. Without understanding, please let's rise in our feet, lift up our voice to heaven this morning, and let's begin to give him thanks. Say, Father, thank you for causing the eruption of signs and wonders in all our services all through this year, thereby drawing multitude into the kingdom and into this church. Let's lift up our voice and return the glory back to the doer. Father, 
we return with a great word this morning, thanking you for causing the eruption of signs and wonders in all of our services all through this year, thereby drawing multitude into the kingdom and into this church. We've returned. We've returned this morning, returning the glory back to you as a doer. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for causing eruption of signs and wonders in all of our services all through this year, thereby drawing multitude to the kingdom and into this church. We return in all of our services. There will be an eruption of signs and wonders. Oh God, we return to say thank you. Blessed be your name, mighty God. You have done all things well. You have done all things well. In every services, there will be an eruption of signs and wonders by your mighty hand. And this morning, we return, giving all the glory, all the honor, all the praise back to you. We give you thanks, oh God, for causing eruption of signs and wonders in all of our services. All through this year, thereby draw a multitude into the kingdom. Take all the glory, mighty God. Take all the honor. Be thou exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's give him all the praise this morning. We have returned. Thank you, gracious Father. Thank you, mighty God, for proving yourself again and again. The Lord in the midst of all was mighty, mighty to save, mighty to heal, mighty to deliver. We saw signs and wonders in every service. It's your doing. It's your doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. And we have returned this morning appreciating you returning all the glory back to you acknowledging you and you alone as a doer therefore thank you mighty God thank you for causing the eruption of signs and wonders in all of our services all through this year we return to give you praise thereby drawing multitude into the kingdom and into the church we are grateful to you we are grateful to you le Mantale boy agadare agadaria like that one leper this morning will return with a loud voice glorifying you, oh God, of this commission for causing eruption of signs and wonders in all of our services all through this year. Thereby join multitude into the kingdom. Take all the glory, Lord. Take all the honor. Be the magnified. Take all the praise. Jehovah, thank you. There was no service, there was no service that we would have lack size and wonder. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. What a good God you are. What a marvelous God. What a gracious God. What a mighty God. Le Cardosia. What a dependable God. What a reliable God. We thank you. We thank you. We have come this morning appreciating you. Giving all the glory back to you. You have done not this way for us. Le katos yaria, mayaka teza riaka tobo yaga, le yeke teza, eriaka manda leboye, se katos ya, eriaka talaba, father thank you. Father, thank you for causing the eruption of signs and wonders in all of our services this year. Thereby drawing multitude into the kingdom and into this church. Thank you, Lord, for stretching forth your hand. Thank you, Lord, for stretching forth your hand in the direction of everyone in every service. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you again. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Please have your seat. My case is different. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. We shall rise up shortly again to give thanks to God. And we shall be saying, Father, thank you for sending your reaper angels to take over our harvest field, thereby mobilizing multitudes into this church for their salvation, deliverance, and breakthrough. Matthew 13, 39, the Bible says the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are angels. Please rise on your feet with me as we lift our voice to God, saying, Father, we thank you for sending your reaper angels to take over our harvest field, thereby mobilizing multitudes into this church for their salvation, for their deliverance and breakthrough. We have returned to give you thanks, our God. We ascribe all the glory unto you for the 52 Sundays, for the midweek services, 
of this year, you are the one that drew the people by the oppression of your river angels from all across our harvest field for their deliverance, for their liberation, for their breakthroughs. You brought them. That is why we come this hour to say thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for sending your reaper angels to take over our harvest field, a harvest field of Lagos, utter the environs, thereby mobilizing great multitudes into this church for their salvation, for their deliverance and breakthrough. All through this year, by the oppression of the reaper angels, multitude gathered in all of our services. And so, Father, we have returned to say thank you. We give you thanks, our Father. We are grateful, our God, for sending your reaper angels to take over our harvest field, mobilizing multitude, both of men of, and women of all ages into all our services for their salvation, for their deliverance, and for their breakthroughs. We are grateful, our God. We are grateful, our God. Lift your voice to heaven with a loud voice. Give him thanks. With a loud voice, give him thanks. Our Father, we thank you for sending your reaper angels to take over our harvest field, thereby mobilizing multitudes into this church for their salvation, for their deliverance, and for their breakthroughs. We are grateful, our God. We are grateful, our God. We come this morning with a heart of gratitude to you, Father. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We called upon you for the release of reaper angels. You had and answered us and you released your reaper angels to take over our harvest field, mobilizing multitudes into this church for their salvation, for their deliverance, for their breakthrough. All through this year, you are the one who did it. And so we come to appreciate you in the name of Jesus for the operation of the river angels amongst us all through this great year of glory in gathering multitudes from across our harvest field into this church for their salvation, for their deliverance, for their breakthroughs. We return to say thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord. He that gives thanks in the spirit does it well. Go ahead, give him thanks in the spirit. Great multitudes gathered in this church for salvation, deliverance, and breakthroughs because you released your reaper angels that brought them into this church. And so we thank you, Father. Accept our thanks, Lord. In Jesus' name we have given thanks. Please be seated. My case is different. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We shall here be thanking God, saying, Father, thank you for confirming the prophetic agenda of 2016 in the winner's family worldwide. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 15. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which spake with his mouth unto David my father, and by his hand performed it. Let's rise up to our feet and let's raise our voices and thank God profusely. Thank God from the depth of our heart. Let's appreciate him. What he said he would do is what he has done. He has not allowed his word to fall to the ground. Let's appreciate him from the depth of our heart. Father, we thank you. 
We thank you for confirming the prophetic agenda of 2016 in the winner's family worldwide. Father, we return all the glory. We appreciate you. We exalt your holy name. Only you can say it. Only you can do it. Father, we honor you. We adore you. We magnify you. Your holy name, we have laid it to heart and we have returned this money to say thank you. We have returned it to say thank you. We bless your holy name. We exalt your holy name for speaking. We thank you for confirming. We thank you for saying it. We thank you for doing it. We return all the honor. We appreciate you. We exalt your holy name. Thank you for confirming the prophetic agenda of 2016. In the winner's family worldwide, we honor you, we adore you. We bless your holy name. We heard it from your mouth. Lord God, you have come. Hand. Father, we return all the glory. We celebrate you. We are grateful. We celebrate you. We magnify your holy name. We bless your holy name. We appreciate you, King of glory. We appreciate you, Lord of lords. We are grateful. Father, thank you for confirming the prophetic agenda of 2016 in the winner's family worldwide. Father, be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou magnified, O oh Lord. We thank you. We are making a big deal of all that you have said and all that you have done. Father, we have returned to say thank you. We bless your holy name. We celebrate your faithfulness. We exalt your holy name. We magnify your holy name. We are grateful. This is marvelous in our eyes. We are grateful. This is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, we say thank you. We magnify your holy name. Not unto us, O oh Lord. Not unto us. Unto your name be all the glory. We celebrate you. We are grateful. We celebrate you. We magnify your holy name for confirming the prophetic agenda of 2016 in the winner's family worldwide. Father, be thou exalted and glorified. Be thou exalted and magnified. Is someone thanking him from the depth of, of your heart? Thank him from the depth of your heart. Thank him from the depth of your heart. Father, we celebrate you. We are grateful. We bless your holy name. We are grateful. We honor you, Lord. We are grateful. We thank you for confirming the prophetic word of 2016 in the winner's family worldwide. We give you all the glory. We bless your holy name. We appreciate you. We exalt your holy name. We thank you, King of glory. We thank you, Lord of lords. We are grateful. We bless your holy name. We are grateful. We honor you, Lord. We are grateful. We return all the glory unto you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for confirming the prophetic agenda of 2016 in the winner's family worldwide. Be thou exalted and glorified. Be thou exalted and magnified. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the praise. We bless your holy name. We thank you, King of glory. We thank you, Lord of lords. We magnify your holy name. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the praise. We bless your holy name for confirming the prophetic agenda of 2016 in the winner's family worldwide. We have seen your good hand. Therefore, we have come to say thank you. We have come to bless your holy name. Let's begin to thank him in the spirit because we do it well by doing so. Irano Satalia, Ababa Barani Gadu Alapalia Brudo, E Grado Sinda, Agagagaganude Di Alapalia Brade, E Rigado Sontalia Galapade, Ababa Runa Dea. Se ala tagide, orina no, e blagaria balabra da zinta, a gaga gulebrege zonda e, e linga ronabo, ambla ke tu gede bolobrege de, e bolobrege de gazua gada braye, a regada gazida, angla koti gele prene, e prene gazugaria kata, a le garodaba, barana, e bragosa, lendra do sigalia katali, e mbele kulebrege zonda, a gaga gudi breyande, e riga do gazua galabra gazanda, e gege gele prege zonda e. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be the holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. We may be comfortably seated. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Next, we shall be rising up to pray, saying, Father, continue to cleanse me by the power of your word. So I can live to please you all the days of my life. Can somebody shout the believing? Amen. Yeah. Psalm 119, verses 9 to 11, paraphrase verse 9 says, Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed according to thy word? And then in verse 11, the Bible says in verse 11, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Please rise up on your feet as soldiers of Christ. 
This is prayer warfare. Lift up your voice. Remember, we've heard it over and again. Sanctification is a requirement. No silent prayer. Let heaven hear your voice right now. As you pray this prayer for yourself, saying, Father, continue to cleanse me by the power of your word so I can live to please you all the days of my life. Let heaven hear you as you pray. No silent prayer. This is a prayer for yourself. And let heaven hear you. Pray in your understanding and pray in the spirit. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ, continue to cleanse me. Continue to cleanse me. Father, continue to cleanse me. Oh Lord, continue to cleanse me by the power of your word. Cleanse me from every form of filthiness by the power of your word. Cleanse me from every form of impurity by the power of your word. Cleanse me from every filthiness of the spirit and of the flesh so I can live to please you all the days of my life. Oh Lord, I call and cry unto you today that you will continue to cleanse me. Oh Lord, continue to cleanse me inside out. Continue to purify me by the power of your word, by the cleansing power of your word so I can live to please you all the days of my life. Oh Lord God, continue to cleanse me by the power of your word. Reba Golikataya, cleanse me inside out. Megora Bakotaria, purify my thoughts. Reba Boligatayaba, purify my words. Erima Kotadara, purify my actions. Erima Kotada, continue to cleanse me, Lord, by the power of your word. Continue to cleanse me, Lord, by the power of your word. Continue to cleanse me, Lord, by the power of your word. Cleanse me inside out from every form of filthiness. Is somebody still praying? Don't keep quiet. No silent prayer. Lift up your voice. This is the most important prayer for your destiny and my destiny. Lift up your voice to the Lord and let heaven hear you right now. Cry unto the God of heaven. Father, continue to cleanse me. Continue to cleanse me by the power of your word. By the power of your word. By the power of your word. Oh, Lord God, continue to cleanse me from every form of filthiness of the spirit and of the flesh so I can live to please you all the days of my life. Are you still praying? Don't keep quiet. Pray some more. Pray, 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 pray. This is prayer warfare. Remain focused. This is the most important prayer for your destiny. Remember, no one else can pray for you like you. Lift up your voice and cry unto the Lord. Father, continue to cleanse me. Continue to cleanse me. Continue to cleanse me. Few seconds left. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Take advantage of this season, this early morning. Receive help right now from the Holy Ghost on the altar of prayer. As begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. From every form of filthiness. Cleanse me, Lord. Continue to cleanse me, Lord. By the power of your word, so I can live to please you. Begin to thank God right now, for God has heard and answered you. Give him praise and glory. Father, we thank you, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it louder. Amen. Please be seated. My case is different and let the redeemer of the Lord say. In the moment we shall be rising to pray and we are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, fill me with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, thereby making me fit for heaven at the end of my journey. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11, verse 9 and 11 in particular, it said, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. In verse 11, it goes on to tell us, he said, but you are washed, you are just sanctified, 
and you are justified in the name of our Lord and in, by the Spirit of our God. Will you rise on your feet with me and lift up your voice to heaven as we pray this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, fill me with the spirit of the fear of the Lord thereby making me fit for heaven at the end of my journey. Lift up your voice to heaven and pray. My Father, I call upon you this morning, asking right now, O Lord, that you fill me with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. I ask, O Lord, for the filling of your spirit. The spirit of the fear of the Lord to enable me and make me fit for heaven at the end of my journey. I shall not preach to others and become a castaway. My Father, I ask you this morning for the outpouring of the Spirit of the fear of the Lord upon my life in a new dimension, in a new level like never before for the mortifying of the flesh and the glorifying of Christ in my life making me fit, O oh Lord, for heaven at the end of my journey. I you pray, lift up your voice. My Father, I call upon you this morning. I am asking, O oh Lord, for the outpouring of the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Your word said, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. I will pour floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your seed. My Father, I call you this morning, asking that you pour out upon me the spirit of the fear of the Lord, making me fit for heaven at the end of my journey that by the spirit of the fear of the Lord there shall be washing there shall be justification and there shall be sanctification are you praying lift up your voice to heaven and pray your heart out right now my father I call upon you this morning I am asking you oh God for the outpouring of the spirit of the fear of the Lord upon my life in a new dimension. I shall not run this race in vain. Lord, pour out upon me the spirit of the fear of the Lord, enabling me, O oh God, to be fit for heaven at the end of my journey. My Father, I call upon you this morning. Pour out upon me the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Ila la kato prediga de biria manatosha. Embra no patenge reke to susia. Eleleke empradia ankoshaba reke monata. Embra deke tesia eprodia kenedia. My Father, I call upon you this morning. I'm asking you, Lord, for the outpouring of the spirit of the fear of the Lord upon my life, making me fit for heaven at the end of my journey. You can push the prayer in the Holy Ghost. Imanante le kepre de kezu imbrano kashada elele keruba imbrano kana eleke to kapana kalo predi angala dobara imbro nebodaba le kompre di kezesia elele lekeno imbrane ketosia imbrodia 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 rakopa nande rekosi angala talo imanakala pradi angala dosha imbrano manakalo membro neketosia galate imbrando raba imbrando raba rekoshaba arande leketesia push the prayer in the holy ghost iraba nakato imbrando sha ayakataba imbrone kosakatia imbrandoria Pour it out upon me. Akata imbranusiaga ulabarakaria balatala. Lift up your hand to heaven and give him glory. Father, we give you thanks. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. My case is different than let the regime of the Lord say so. In this service this morning, this testimony time. Number one, God of Shiloh answered my prayers. I joined the Living Faith Church, known as the Winners Chapel, for the first time in August 28, 2016. And since then, God of this commission had been faithful to me. Before I joined this church, the company I worked with had been on standby since February 2016 without paying salaries. 
on the first day of Shiloh, 2016, being the 6th of December, 2016, at the encounter night, I prayed to God of Shiloh to turn my life around. On the 7th December 2016, after the Shiloh pr prayer hour, 5.30 to 6.30 a.m., the company I worked with called and said, we should resume work and start up some maintenance, uh, some equipment maintenance that, that our salary will be paid this December. Not only that, on the 8th of December 2016, after the encounter night, I received a business proposal under oil and gas to organize buying and transshipping of burning light crude oil from Nigeria to China. Somebody put those hands together, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> With it starting up this December 2016 for the period of six, 60 months consecutively, and also to sell automotive gas oil, known as diesel, in a large quantity of 100,000 metric tons, and above on TTT and TTO basics. So I have come to turn all the glory to God because he is the doer of all things. Somebody put those hands together, Lord Jesus. <laughs> the testifier is Saka Bamidili. Number two, my case is different. During one of the Shiloh, during one of the Shiloh 2016 encounter services, Bishop David Odeko declared that nothing dies around us and in our hands, and I keyed into it. Then I asked God to make my testimony evident to people around me. During 2016, I got a contract worth 2.5 million. The goods were purchased and packed in my shop along Kefi, Akwanga Expressway, to be supplied after Shiloh. On Monday, 12th of December 2016, around 6 a.m., we were about moving to the site, but there was a divine delay. I didn't know that a diesel tanker fell on the expressway and caught fire and all the shops on the road containing goods worth millions of Naira got burnt. I want to thank God that my shop and goods were exempted. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Surprising, the fire jumped to my shop and started from the fifth shop. I was uh, accused of protecting my shop with diabolical powers. They didn't know that I came back from Shiloh. Somebody put those hands together for Lord Jesus. Indeed, Shiloh ground is a mountain of encounter, and my case is really different. I give all the glory to God. The testifier is God's love, just man. Lift up those hands to heaven as you be on your feet, celebrating God, the doer of all things, for all that he had done. I appreciate him from the bottom of your heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Last night we heard a prophetic word from a servant and I'd like us to thank God with understanding. And I'm sure we all heard it and that was that anything can still happen. This is the first day of the last three days of the year 2016. How many are still expectant because another quantum leap can still take place. Lift your hands to the heavens and give God thanks profusely in anticipation right now this morning if you are certain that something good is still going to take place in your life before the year 2016 is over give God thanks for what he has done and for what you are expecting him to still do anything can still happen we heard that last night let's give God quality thanks thanksgiving in anticipation for what he said to do are you thanking him Remember what he has done. Remember his goodness. And then thank him for what you are expecting. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. From the depth of your heart, give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. 72 hours. And anything can still happen. Father, thank you. You have done me well this year so far. But I know you crowned the year with your goodness. And your parts drop fatness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lift your hands and let's thank him with understanding. Let's thank him from the depth of our hearts. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we are ready one more time to hear from you. Send us your word this morning with power and take all the glory in Jesus' precious name. My case is different. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so.
Please put your hands together for the Lord as you take your seat. We began looking at a very important series this week, the last week of the year for the Covenant Hour Prayer, captioned, Understanding the Mystery of Thanksgiving. Understanding the Mystery of Thanksgiving. I think it's important we begin this morning by recognizing that the simplicity of the gospel or the simplicity in the gospel is the power of the gospel. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3, we see how simplicity is available in the gospel. He said, we must not by any means, he said, but I fear less by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in the gospel. The powerful gospel is the simple gospel. The moment the gospel becomes complicated, permit me to say it may become corrupted. And this is one of the very simple things in the gospel. Thanksgiving. Very simple but yet very powerful. Very simple yet very potent. And we, we began by saying it during this week that thanksgiving is the magnification of God's blessings in our lives. Psalms chapter 34 verse 1 to 3. He said, oh magnify the Lord with me. Psalm 34, sorry, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Verse 2, he said, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Verse 3, oh magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. So thanksgiving is the magnification of God's blessings. The bigger you magnify the blessings of God, the bigger God manifests himself in our lives. The magnification of God's blessings in our lives is what we call thanksgiving. We also recognize from scriptures that thanksgiving number two is the offering of glory to God for his mighty deeds. The offering of glory to God for his mighty deeds. The offering of glory to God. For his mighty deeds. Has God done anyone well this year? Amen. That's so. We are giving God thanks. Offering him glory. He offered us blessings. We are offering him back the glory. That is very clear. As we see that one leper returned back in Luke chapter 17. Verse 11 to 19. He said they returned not out. No one returned back to give glory or to offer glory. To my name. Number three, thanksgiving is the remembrance of the goodness, the faithfulness, and the kindness of God. The remembrance of the goodness, of the faithfulness, and the kindness of God. Psalm 136 and verse 1. Psalm 136 and verse 1. He said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 107 and verse 1, repeating the same thing verbatim. So thanksgiving is the remembrance. I remember your faithfulness. I remember your goodness. I remember your kindness in my life. Let's take one more definition. Thanksgiving number four is the acknowledgement of his benefits. God has given us so many benefits and it takes thanksgiving to acknowledge those benefits. Psalm 103 verse 1 to 5, very popular scripture. It said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Do what? Bless his holy name. And then he began to list out the benefits. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Verse 3, who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healed all thy diseases? Who redeemed thy life from destruction? And many things God has redeemed us from, we may never know till we get to heaven. He redeemed our life from destruction. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? How does fire jump five shops? 
because of the loving kindness of God on a man. Five others who never even possibly knew God enjoy the loving kindness of God on another man. An exemption was delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we keep giving thanks to God, we will keep enjoying his loving kindness. That's what thanksgiving is. It is the magnification of God's blessings. It is the offering of glory to God. It is the remembrance of the goodness, faithfulness, and kindness of God. It is the acknowledgement of his benefits to us. And we also understand from scriptures that every time we give God thanks, God is pleased. Psalm 149. And verse 3 and 4, God is pleased with our thanksgiving. Thanksgiving pleases God. It makes God happy. Thanksgiving also moves the hand of God to perform what he has spoken by his mouth. He said, blessed be the Lord God of my father who with his own mouth has spoken and his own hand has performed it. Everything God speaks is able to perform waiting for our gratitude. Therefore, every prophetic declaration for the year 2016 that may yet be fulfilled, as we give God thanks, they shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Your amen should be louder than that this morning. Now, for today, we must understand that we serve a God of multiplication. It is one of his attributes. He's able to multiply any man's status anytime. How do we know that? In Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11, he said, the Lord God of your fathers bless you a thousand times more. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 11. He bless you a thousand times more. He said, make you a thousand times so many more. That's multiplication. As ye are and bless you as he has promised. We serve a God of multiplication. Genesis chapter 22 and verse 17. He said that in blessing, I will bless you. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and as the sun that is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. We serve a God of of multiplication. Look at where you are now and imagine how God can multiply you to become a thousand times more. Thousand times greater peace. Thousand times greater joy. Financial overflow to the thousand degree. That is the God we serve. He is able. The scripture says for God is able to do exceeding abundantly above more than we can ever ask or think. The above there connotes he has capacity to multiply you beyond human comprehension. Therefore, as we give God thanks, the multiplication effect, the multiplication hand of our God becomes a reality in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. But we also understand that thanksgiving is a vital key to commanding supernatural multiplication. Thanksgiving. In John chapter 6 verse 6 to 11, Jesus gave thanks and five loaves, two fishes, multiplied in abundance that there was left over. He said, out of them shall proceed. Thanksgiving, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19. And the voice of them that make merry. And he said, I will multiply them. They shall not be few. I also will glorify them. They shall not be small. By your thanksgiving today, you and I will experience supernatural multiplication. Your amen should be louder this morning. Now, as we close very quickly, what kind of thanksgiving pleases God? What kind of thanksgiving pleases God? Number one, the thanksgiving that is done with understanding. That's why we've been going through this since the week began. To enhance our understanding on this simple subject. Psalm 47 and verse 7. It must be done with understanding. If it will please God, it must be done with understanding. He said, for God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises or give him thanks with understanding. Number two, if it will please God, it must be done in haste. It must be done quickly. It must be done in haste. It must be done quickly. Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 15 to 17. It must be done quickly. 
it must be done quickly. We must not waste time in giving God thanks. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 15 to 17. He said, hear ye and give ear. Be not proud for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he caused darkness. It must be done quickly before God gets angry. It must be done quickly before it becomes too late. He said, this commandment is to you, O ye priests. If you will not hearken to give glory to my name, then I will cause the blessing. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 1 to 2. Number 3, if it will please God, it must be done with the whole of our being. Not just your mouth must be engaged, your hands must be engaged, your, your, your entire system must be engaged. That's very clear in Psalm 103 verse 1 to 5. If it will please God, number four, it must be done with details. We heard that yesterday. It must be done with details. We must count our blessing. We must keep naming them one by one. And finally, number five, if it will please God, it must be done personally and corporately. Personally and corporately. Personally and corporately. In Psalm 34 and verse 1 to 3, Psalm 34 and verse 1 to 3, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. It must be done continually. It must be done continually. It must be done continually. I believe with these few keys this morning, we are set for the best of God these last three days. And in the name of Jesus, the prophetic word spoken by his servant, that anything can still happen, will be perfected and performed in someone's life. Will you join me rise on your feet this morning? Lift up your hands to the heavens and let's give God thanks from the depth of our hearts this morning. And I appreciate him. Let's give him glory. Let's give him all honor. You are doing this in anticipation. 72 hours is too much for God to change somebody's story. Lift your voices. Give him thanks. Give him thanks, 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 appreciate him, give him the glory, appreciate him. If that thanksgiving is for Jesus, lift your voice and lift your hand to the heavens and glorify God, celebrate him, give him praise. Celebrate him, give him praise. Thank him for the blessing of his word that you have received. Give him the glory. Father, we give you thanks. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. We thank you, mighty God. Glory to the Father. Blessed be your name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. We are going to engage the word that we have heard this morning. And I'd like us to thank God one more time this morning with details. Appreciating him for his specific doings. What are the things that you are thanking him for? He said, forget not all of his benefits. And like we heard this morning, he said, all that is within me, bless his holy name. So with the whole of our being this morning, we are going to be thanking God for specific details. The end of the year is largely to be a time of reflection where we look back to see where he brought us from. We have come a long way. He has brought us by his mighty hand. He has not allowed the the agenda of the wicked to prevail over us from pestilences and daytime from arrows in the nighttime all kinds of assault he has been our preservation right now with whatever detail you can recall i'd like you to lift up your voice and give god thanks specifically this morning my father i've come to you today specifically to give you thanks for all that you have done. Come on, do it with all that is within you this morning. For all that you have done, my Father, in every department of my life, I've come this morning to give you thanks. 
You can thank him for any department of your life, for your life assignment, for your career, your business, for your family, for your children, your grandchildren, your spouses. Lift up your voice and give him thanks. La Rabana Koshe Predia Kanatalo. My father, I come this morning to give you thanks, to give you glory for the blessing of peace and serenity. On every side, you have given calmness. For when the Lord gives quietness, who can make trouble? My Father, I've come to thank you, Lord, for the blessing of peace and blessing of serenity in my life, in my family, in my assignment. You have been the God of peace, giving me peace by all means. My Father, this morning, I've come to celebrate you, Lord. I've come to thank you, Lord, for un unspeakable joy. Joy welling up in my heart, welling up in my family, welling up in my assignment. I give you the praise and the glory for unspeakable dimension of your joy that has been at work in my life. I thank you for the gift of strength, the gift of vitality, energy that you have given, oh Lord, for the pursuit of vision and assignment. I've come this morning to give you thanks, oh Lord. It is your doing and it is marvelous in our sight. I've come, Lord, this morning to thank you, Lord, for wisdom thank you for wisdom in the pursuit oh lord of life and assignment i give you the praise and the glory i thank you this morning lord for your faithfulness in every area of my life thank you for revelation Thank you, Lord, for faith. Thank you for every fruit of the Spirit. I give you the glory. I give you the praise. I thank you for every testimony of your good hand upon my life. I celebrate you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your good hand. Oh, my father, I've come this morning to give you thanks. I give you thanks. Lift up your hand this morning and glorify the name of the Lord with a loud voice. Give him glory with a loud voice. Like that one leper, give him glory. Remember Thanksgiving is returning glory to God for his mighty works. Give him glory. Give him thanks and give him praise for all of his mighty deeds. Thank him for what he has done. Thank him for what he's doing. And thank you for what will still happen before this year concludes like we had this morning. There is still too much for God to deliver. My Father, I'm grateful. I thank you for what you have done, for what you are doing, and for what you will do. I give you the praise. Blessed be your name. Glory to the Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say a loud amen. amen. It is done. Like we're told in the teaching, we take time through the day and make sure that Thanksgiving is offered specifically unto the Lord. But beyond that also, remember like we're told yesterday, use the remaining days that are left to also set up the new year. This is a season of combined blessings for taste of the new year and the taste of the balance of this year. So we must position ourselves in thanksgiving for all that is left for God to deliver in this year, but also position ourselves on the altar of prayer to begin to settle the things that are to come in the new year. I see your story being dramatically changed in this season in Jesus' precious name. Lift your hand to heaven one more time and give God thanks. Father, we give you praise. You are worthy of all the praise, the glory, the honor, the adoration. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. You are worthy. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. You are worthy. Blessed be 
your holy name, Lord. We celebrate you. We honor you. We glorify your holy name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. My case is different. I let the redeem of the Lord say. Congratulations. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed.